Uh, 2020 in one sentence. Um, what a time to be alive. The beginning part was fantastic. Very, very confusing, very stressful. Unexpected, but we'll make it work. So coping with the pandemic, certainly at home over lockdown, has just been on a day-to-day -day basis, kind of going through the motions, trying to get university work done. Up and down, good days, bad days, great days, tragic days. Personally, I found it a little bit strange at the start. Have you felt isolated or lonely at any point over the last few months? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I felt very isolated at some points. Even though I could speak to my friend, speak to my friends virtually, it just really wasn't the same. I feel mixed emotions about being back on campus. Um, I've been really looking forward to coming back to uni. It still feels a little bit strange that we have to walk in a particular direction, not go through particular doors, but we're getting used to it. Mine was just one year course. So like, it was going well online also, but yeah, being on campus is a Live, we get to meet our friends, we get to communicate with our professors. Everyone has to wear a mask, but I can't exactly wear a mask because of my health. So it's quite hard because I feel bad in a way that I should be wearing a mask, but I can't exactly wear a mask because of my breathing. Just get the lanyard and it's quite helpful because the campus monitors don't exactly come to you and say it's compulsory for you to wear the mask, but because they see the lanyard, it's quite easier for them. Um, how have you been looking out for each other? Really, sounds really basic, but just like trying to catch up. We've been making a lot of effort as a friend group to stay in contact with each other all the time. The amount of group chats that we have has increased a lot. It is very important uh, to check on each other because uh, they've spent the entire summer with fa family and now they miss, some of them are really homesick so they miss their family. Yeah, the advice that I will have for the people who feel stressed and uh, lonely sometimes is that they sh uh, they should not keep everything to themselves, they should talk it out. Talk and then don't stop talking about how you're feeling. The Brooks Wellbeing Centre and the student coordinators um, and student support network that's out there, like with the Brooks Union and everything, there are so many people on Brooks campus that can help you with anything that you're worrying about, um, anything you think you might need help with. Try and do exercise. Like, even if it's just home workouts, press-ups, because you need that endorphins, you need something to keep you active. Uh, try and go out for a walk or just around the city or in a park. I would say uh, you should join societies. There are a lot of societies uh, you should join because they have virtual events. Do you feel the Brooks students are acting responsibly? Yeah, as a whole, definitely. When I've been on campus, even though I'm studying mostly from home, when I've been on campus for a few seminars, people are wearing masks and socially distancing. So my tips for socialising at the moment is obviously to stay within the group of six, so find your different groups of friends. We just socialise online, but then if we are to socialise and meet face to face, we do just meet maybe two or three of us. Always look out for uh, events that the university organise, so the university are doing their best to uh, give the students the opportunity to socialise as much and as safe as possible. And just think, we're pretty much making history because we're going to be known as the students that study during the pandemic. And yeah, you've got this to so keep going.